we'll discuss about the timeline of IVF. IVF is a very complex process, but to understand it well, we should know how the timeline of IVF works. It is important that the woman who is seeking infertility treatment by IVF sees the infertility specialist on the day one or the day two of the menses. Whatever we count in an IVF cycle is started from the start of the periods of a woman. So day one, day two of the periods of the flow of the actual flow is counted as day one, day two. And on day one, the infertility specialist would advise you certain kind of blood test and ultrasound to see for the basic assessment. Once that is done, depending upon the results, the type and the dose of injections to be administered in the IVF cycle is decided. These injections are administered for around 10 to 12 days. So from the start of the cycle, from the day one or day two, the injections are started. 10 to 12 days of injections are administered. On the final day of injection, which is likely to be the 12th day of injection, a trigger injection is given, following which 36 hours later, the egg retrieval is done. So that would be the day 14th of the cycle of the women. These eggs are retrieved out and this is counted as day zero of the embryos. The embryo transfer can be done on day 3, day 4 or day 5. Counting from the start of the cycle, this would fall as day 17, 18th or 19th of the cycle of the women. On these days, a fresh embryo transfer procedure can be performed. If the transfer is done, say on a blastocyst stage, which is the day 19th or the day 5 transfer, following this, two weeks of medications or luteal phase support or medications that help in implantation of the embryo are given. So that would be calculated as say around the 33rd or 34th of the cycle. This is how the IVF calendar is. So a cycle would roughly last for a month and we get to know about the pregnancy results right after the end of the cycle by doing a simple beta-HCG blood test or a urine pregnancy test.